Channel 6 at 6. Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Montgomery. I'm Brad Means. Thanks for joining us. Coverage you can count on continues with major growth expected in the CSRA because of the cyber related missions at Fort Gordon. The military post has grown by 20% since 2012, and now downtown Augusta is expected to boom as well because of the planned Georgia Cyber Innovation and Training Center on Reynolds Street. News Channel 6's Mike Miller is digging deeper tonight, taking a look at the estimated growth numbers. Well, Jenny, Governor Nathan Deal approved the funding for the Cyber Training Center when he signed the amended budget for 2017 yesterday in downtown Augusta. It is just one of several things going on that is expected to jumpstart growth in the downtown area. State leaders are hoping Augusta will become the Silicon Valley of the South, as estimates show that more than 13,000 people will move to the area before the year 2020. Every year it'll grow about another 3%. So some of the growth is here uh, and the people are here and now we're putting the buildings in place. In downtown Augusta, plans for a $50 million, 150,000 square foot cyber training facility with a world class cyber range. The cyber center will be the start of Augusta University's downtown campus. We're going to be using this as a recruiting tool for Augusta University too. Our goal has always been to dramatically increase our undergraduate enrollment here. And this is going to be one of those signature programs that we can use to put not only Augusta, but Augusta University on, on the national map too. With the ongoing efforts of the Innovation Zone, the continued employee growth at Unisys, and the planned data center on the Augusta Canal, downtown Augusta is becoming the cybersecurity corridor and Augusta University is paying attention. There's also loosely master plan opportunities for residential, whether they be uh, uh, student resident housing or condos or apartments or those sorts of things. And Dr. Brooks Keel says the cyber center is a major component of attracting millennials to the area. They want to be able to, to walk to where they go to work and walk to where they go to eat in the evening and walk to where they have their activities. Although Augusta is growing, Keel says the growth expected in North Augusta from Project Jackson will also attract people to the downtown area. So now you can envision an even larger um, entertainment zone, if you will, uh, that begins to look like um, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, with, uh, with ferries on the, on the river and ta water taxis and that sort of thing. State leaders are still working on the designs for the Cyber Innovation and Training Center. Construction is expected to get started in the spring as the state wants to have the building ready by the end of 2018. Brad. All right, Mike, thanks a lot. Well, parking is causing some problems near.